and welcome back to the channel. Today's video, you guessed it right. This one is about another battery, the Repower Flow. It's a 51.2 volts, 100 amp hour golf cart battery. And a cool thing about this battery, Repower Flow, you remember the up there is, for example, a 36 or 38.4 volt battery in a suitcase. Uh, I have multiple other videos out there as well on the channel. And this one, I'm sorry about it, it's upside down, but this one is the 51.2 100 amp hour version, ripping 5120 watt hour. We'll take a closer look today at this battery. We'll install it in the golf cart, test it out, how much we can pull out of this while driving, because that's a reference what we have to deal with because that's a golf cart battery even though you can use it potentially for other stuff as well so what's in the box you can see we do have the battery itself back here we do have two ratchets a third one which is just additionally what i'm using to strap it down because that's where we'll test it with a 20 amp charger pretty cool 20 amp it's a, a version which you can install upside like in this orientation or laying down orientation you do have easy connection with anderson connectors you can use the anderson as already alligator clamps but you can also use just a fixed installation like those ones and to top it off you do have this cool plug which you can install in your golf cart somewhere and then you have a watertight connection usually you can close this i can't um, and that's pretty neat as well and of course the user manual and back there is a display and you can see battery is pretty full also pretty cool up here it does come with a double terminal which is pretty neat those days because you know, there's so much stuff you can connect to those golf cart batteries, especially when you have converters or transform your energy from 12 volt, sorry, from 41 volt to 12 volt. So what's also cool about it, it has those pop-outs. So in theory, we can pop them out and then actually take the lid off. And we'll do that later, but first we'll just test it here out in the field and see if we can pull a lot of energy or not and how that feels. So that means I'll get it ready and then we'll take it for a spin and then we'll continue. Nice, I think we got it. We got to test it. Close to 200 amps. That's what I expected. This golf cart is very pulling when, when you push it. So this is cool to see. So this means <laughs> I don't have any issues to believe that this battery can do it. But longevity is always the question, right? So let's look inside to understand is the quality what we would like to see or not. So, but that was a good test. Let's continue. Okay, so now we are looking more in depth into this battery, opening it up. And I also want to give you a couple more detailed information about this battery because I feel like I didn't touch uh, based on all of the things which this one is capable of. So I should pull up the pricing as of now what it was so you understand where we're at price-wise. And same uh, like up there, another battery. They do have similar approaches in terms of putting stuff on Amazon. So there's also a huge discount on this one usually, a coupon you can activate. Um, so this repower battery, and you can see the sun did some damage to the sticker already. Um, so that's just what can happen. Oftentimes it's just a housing, standard housing, and they put some stickers on it. In this case we have the repower flow, right? So it does come, as we know, with the display, which I showed you uh, earlier. And let me add it to this one. And here we have the battery 99% still after running it on the golf cart. And you know, it does come with the display, it does come with the charger, which is pretty cool. And by the way, the charger looks different from what is shown here in the picture. I want to highlight that. I showed you that earlier, what's in the box. But um, pretty much the same display as we know it already from so many other batteries. I still like it and it's cool that it does have a housing and it does have some steel housing here. So you can, and is it steel? There we go, it's steel, it's magnetic. So it is pretty nice to be able to mount it somewhere, um, however you want to mount it, so you have something you can already use and utilize. 
Here, by the way, the dimensions, which I have not um, pointed out yet, it has some weight to it. And this battery is advertised with a 2C rate, create A cells. I hope we can see that inside. And uh, also do some testing to the BMS and its protections. Which is actually a good question. I try to think what it is. But, oh yeah, here we go. It does have some uh, overcharge, over discharge, short circuit, over power, over current. Well, I don't know what the over power means in terms of wattage, amperage, wrap. It's the same in my opinion. Correct me if I'm wrong. It does have also, or it's advertised, high and low temperature protection. And I assume this is while charging. And it's claimed uh, create A cells up to 4000 plus deep cycle cycles. 10 years of usage without a replacement. That's what I advertise it with. So far, RePowerFlow always had great quality. Um, I did not have one of those regular batteries yet when in this plastic housing. So you can see it's also some damage to it because I did use it. I did try it out. I had it outside parked. So now you know what's always nice about RePower in my opinion, besides having a lot of components included, which I did not see here in this first picture, interesting enough. But it does come with a manual and this manual is usually pretty good in terms of pointing out uh, the parameters. So on page one, they call it, we can see we have a nominal capacity. It does have a maximum continuous charge discharge of 200 amp and max discharge current five seconds long, 300 amp. So that is something which is always impressive. I did not test it more as you saw more than 200. It was shortly below 190, I believe. Uh, I've seen with this one also, so performed pretty well. But now let's open up this beauty because it also has those plugs here. We should be able to pry them out and then uh, it should have just some bolts. So I will be able to open this up and close it and afterwards again, um, unless whatever we see inside. So let's see how it looks inside and let's continue with that. So I took out and pry it out with a screwdriver. Those little plugs which are here. Now I'm taking a Phillips head. Now I'm just taking my impact because it's just quick. This is so quick usually. It's nice in terms of maintenance. So let's see if I get it out. All right, let's see. Ta -da. Okay, ha, huh. that is funny. That reminds me of a battery, by the way, which we recently just opened up. Don't want to complain because that was awesome what I saw. I just was not able to get it out because it's glued underneath. So we'll see how this one performs. One thing pointing out here already, there is a rubber gasket in here, which should make it at least IP, in my opinion, 65 rated. Um, I have to double check and correct myself if it's IP65 or IP67. Let's take a closer look here. So we do have four gauge wire positive over here, uh, four 10 gauge wires over here. We have this protective boot over here, uh, hydraulic crimps. It looks like no torque marks, no clue. I like no clue. Um, I like to see torque marks. Oh, by the way, Repower Flow, don't forget, they have those amazing batteries in a suitcase. Up there is a 36 volt version, which I still have, and I still try to find a golf cart with a 36 volt so I can install this one. My golf cart only has, only has 48, so this one was perfect to test and shoot a video with and install it in there. So this is pretty cool. Still, I need a 36 volt golf cart. In case you guys have one and you live in LA area, let me know. That might be an amazing video. And I do also try to um, donate this battery to someone who contacts me. So if you watch it, contact me, um, contact us in the about, about section, and we can discuss the details if we can shoot a video, maybe install that. That would be cool. So regardless, um, protective shoe. Oh, this one is, that is interesting. This is a butterfly crimp. This is not hydraulic in the positive side, but it does have the positive, um, uh, yeah, it does have the positive connection here to the display outside. So it goes outside. There we go. So then we have the same. We have two big, big bus bars on this side, on both sides. So that lets me assume that the cells are kind of in the middle. So they go only until here. And then we have an entire pack. So it should be 16 in total. We have a huge bus bar over here with heat shrink, copper. It's not too thick, now realizing this. but we'll do the job. We do have, do we? Yeah, we do have whew, no access to the temperature sensor. Let me try to get this out. I have no idea. All right, after trying a little bit, um, can't get it out. It's similar to um, the competition battery, similar build, I would say. The only difference, the, the only big difference, 
they have two high density forms, <laughs> which I would have expected by the other one, but this one has it. It looks great. It is same. It is the housing here is steel. That is good to see. So it's very sturdy. Only downside again here, um, you can push this plastic in the housing and then you touch the, the bolts on both sides. On top, on the bottom, they do already touch. So it might be a matter of time and years that they just poke through maybe. I'm not sure about that. That might be just my assumption. In general, it would be great to see uh, some high density foam here on both sides, um, but they do use the space really good to be honest so you see that we have bolts used with bolts we have some welds over here some small uh, spot welds hold everything in place we do have the bms here over on this side let me try to give you the overview over here so you can hopefully see those bolts what i was talking about those, those basically are the bus bars huge bus bar which i am used to from repower already so I'm not new to this design. We have over here, we have over here the uh, BMS tucked in. And also with this one, it should be JBD because um, I, the app I used, I think I saw it. And I usually rename my battery uh, BMSs when I connect via Bluetooth so I know which one is which. Uh, this has a display and it has Bluetooth. So this is pretty good and refreshing. Um, one thing I, it looks like, and I'm, I'm correct me if I'm wrong because I can't take it out, the temperature sensor will be used off the BMS. So it means that's not good if it's only that temperature sensor, but I don't have access to it. So if the temperature sensor is on the BMS, it means that it reads off the BMS and when the BMS is getting whole hot, it will use that temperature instead of using the cell temperature, which should be because it should be shutting off if the cells are getting too hot. Usually that's how you protect the cells, right? So yeah, um, rather having two temperature sensors, one for the BMS itself, but also one we, which you can just route over to the cells. Since I can't get it out, I can't prove this is what this is what it is, but keep that in mind. So that means basically that we are at the end of the video already. I hope you enjoyed seeing this battery performing on the golf cart and understanding it is capable of up to 180, 190 amps. This is good. My golf cart is pretty strong. So going uphill and with my weight and the weight, I had, by the way, two batteries <laughs> in the golf cart. Compared to Elite Acid, which, you know, is way heavier, um, I had two lithium ion phosphate batteries in there. <laughs> so regardless, um, I'm happy to see that the build quality inside is great. In general, um, those are cool, but having maybe an aluminum or steel housing to protect a little bit more, well, that would be amazing too. Plastic is just, you know, you'll see how it performs over the years. That's something I cannot say, but we will see. So remember, I do have a 36 volt battery from Repower Flow in a suitcase, which I would like to donate to someone who has a 36 volt golf cart and wants to convert from lead asset to that suitcase battery. Uh, watch the video and let me know what you think. If that's something you want to do, then reach out to me in the about section, there's my email. And let me know if, what you think about this battery, which has similar build quality, like uh, the compet competitor I did recently review, but it's still something I really like. So they seem to be made in a similar factory. Maybe, maybe not, who knows, but um, I would, yeah, sadly I didn't see the cells. I didn't see the, if it temperature high and low temp kind of does actually work, because that's something. If you live in a cold area, you need to know that, by the way. Because um, otherwise you might damage your cells while charging. You don't want to do that. All right, enough talking. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like it if you did. Subscribe to the channel for more stuff like that. And thanks for watching. Ciao.